Hey guys, this is Don the Model Farm, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the 164 scale Ertl Dairy Farm set. So first going over what the dairy farm set includes, got three people over here. We have someone with a shovel, someone holding what could be milk pails, or I guess really um, any kind of bucket, and then we also have just a standing farmer. It also comes with quite a few gates, uh, some red gates and then some white fencing. Along with that, it came with two feeder troughs, and of course the dairy barn itself. First we're going to take a look at the barn. Just a quick overview on the Ertl uh, Dairy Barn. It is completely made out of plastic. It does require assembly. Due to it being made out of plastic and requiring some assembly, it's not the most realistic barn. But let's take a closer look at it. The barn is supposed to look like uh, wood right here. If you look close enough, you can see the uh, wood grains in it, which is which is some nice detail with that. As for the milk house, it is made to look and represent bricks. The roof uh, is supposed to be metal siding, so they do have the texture down. As for the main roof, you can see the shingles. So as for assembling this, it does come in individual pieces. There is some parts where it's kind of hard or frustrating to assemble. I would say it probably would take about 10 minutes around there to assemble. The whole thing is just on this gray piece, which also has where the uh, saws are. So you can just take this off. You know what to do right now. Middle here, this is just the platform it's on. This is where the milk house was. Got a little ramp going up here. We have stalls in here for the uh, dairy cows. They don't have these things for uh, every stall. We also have the gutter here uh, for the cow manure, so that's a nice uh, addition. Stalls are a little bit flimsy, but overall, standard detail. A cow's head fits in there nicely, so they're able to uh, put their head in there. Taking a closer look at the milk house, there is a door in here, and the people are able to fit through there. The milk house comes with uh, some accessories, a milk tank. We have a little sink. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, it could be a few things. As you could take this off and they have spots to put the sink. There's a little slot in there and then this thing goes in there. It was really hard to get that sink in, but once you have it in here, it's pretty sturdy. So you can also put the milk tank in here. So it does allow the milk parlor to be pretty um, deep. The roof of the barn is also able to come off as with the vents are able to slide off. They're not on there permanently. Uh, so you can just take the roof off. As you can see right here, we just have the roof off, and uh, there's the inside. Again, pretty detailed with like uh, the ceiling right there, uh, just some added detail that they didn't have to do. So looking down into here, uh, we have these, uh, again plastic, but made to look like wood, hay lofts uh, in the top here. So you can put a hay elevator up here to put the uh, hay bales up onto the lofts. It can move freely between here, so you can have one, a big one on the side. Or spread it out. So again, that's a nice detail. We got windows up here. Uh, quite a few windows throughout this dairy barn. Looking at the sides, we got a door right here. We also got a window. In the back here, we also got a door uh, with more windows. This is where it goes in. Uh, if you've ever had the Ertl machine sheds, it's similar to how you put those together. So the plastic is pretty thin. Uh, it's sturdy though at the same time. You know, you can kind of shake it around. It's not really going to break on you. On the front here, we have this that's supposed to make it look like it gets folded up. Personally, I don't really like that detail. I think it kind of makes it look even more cheap than it is. And then right here, um, on certain sets, you're able to, it comes with like a sticker to put here that says like uh, what the farm's called. And then of course we have the doors here that can slide. Again, these don't actually slide. Uh, it's just made to look like that, which again, I also think makes it look kind of cheap. And then most tractors are able to go through this opening. And here it is compared to my hands, so it is pretty big. Overall in the barn, I would say if you were looking to use this on a display, actually wanting it to look pretty good or to compete with it, I wouldn't suggest putting this on here. I have seen uh, good displays do it, and you can make it work, but if you were to do something like that, I would suggest uh, customizing it in some way, such as painting it or maybe just adding some detail. However, if you're looking for a kind of something to play with or just a cheaper thing if you don't want to make your own or buy a dairy barn. But as for playing, it's really nice if you want to like interact uh, with your display. Uh, you're able to open the roof up so you can put like cows in there or people through there. And now we're going to take a look at the accessories it comes with. Taking a look at the people. A lot of detail here. It's got the pants colored. It's even got a belt, which you can see right here. Uh, this one does have the uh, skin color. Uh, the hat, again, the hair is colored. and. Nice details on the hand uh, holding the buckets. These are actually pretty detailed. I've seen more detailed uh, custom ones, but these are pretty nice coming from an early set. Here we have the standing up one. Again, this is clear colored. I don't know why they only did that for the bucket one. This one's wearing the overalls. Some amount of detail with the color and such. 
these can bend really easily and I know I, it, mine used to always lean forward that way so I'd always have to kind of bend it back. The standing up one definitely can kind of be a little unstable at times. And then lastly we have the shovel. Again this is a clear uh, skinned one. Here we have the shovel. Not as much detail with that. So now taking a look at the cow. Uh, these are just like the standard dairy cows. Uh, they have ones with their heads down but none laying down. Just a plastic material. A lot of times the legs get bent in the packaging or making process and sometimes uh, it's hard for them to stand up. I don't know the exact number of cows that this comes with but I want to say around 20. Not much detail with it. Have the udders right there on the tail, but oh, it's not really much detail. Next, we got the feeder trough. Uh, this does come with some assembly, so that's it unassembled. Uh, it's pretty easy to assemble. Everything is made out of plastic, so it isn't the highest quality uh, set. So this isn't the most realistic of troughs. As you can see, it's bent there. It's pretty easy to tell that it's plastic. See the cow's head fit, fits in there nicely. And lastly, the gate. Now these gates are plastic. Um, quite flimsy. These has a, have a little stand for them to stand up on, so these are much easier to stand. As for these, these are, you can't really stand up on their own. Connecting them is, uh, you just have to put them in between these little circle things and then they're connected. I do have to say that these are very frust frustrating to deal with. Definitely not the best quality, very flimsy um, and easy to bend. That's it for all the accessories it came with. So that's it for the review on the 164 Scalar Ertl Dairy Farm set. Also, I apologize for the long wait for videos. I think it's been over a month. Uh, I've just been really busy with schoolwork and stuff like that. I haven't been able to get a video off. So uh, once summer comes, I'll definitely be able to do more videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you down in the model farm.